One example of how some business owners in New York City are trying to cope with the ghost town epidemic that is infecting so many blocks in New York. You know, the empty stores because the rent's too high. Well, tonight, the story of one local barber, rather than paying rent, is cutting his hair and, well, we'll let Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einier tell you where. After years of cutting hair in Manhattan, John Rivera finally has his own place. There is definitely an element of entrepreneurial part to this, that innovation. Offering all the creature comforts of a high-end barber shop, along with a few minor nicks. What is that beep? Is that yeah, is there a beep? It's the battery of the these lights. I'm going to have to turn them off for now. Uh, there you go. Because I'm going to have to start the truck to reset them. The New York Barber, as it's called, is in the back of a giant box truck parked tonight on 79th and Broadway. John needed to run the engine for a few minutes to charge his battery. We should be good for at least a little bit with the lights. He was laid off when his last shop lost its lease and decided to strike out on his own, but he didn't get far. We had a 750 square foot space. When I asked to rent it, they're asking 25,000 a month. Vacancies everywhere, but he was still priced out. So he and a partner bought this old truck, fitted it out, and hit the road. A creative answer to a true epidemic. Can't go 10 feet in this town without seeing a sad scene like this. Small businesses are dropping like flies these days, priced out of doing business. John may have trimmed his overhead, but he still has to worry about alternate side of the street parking rules and feeding the meter. Though the occasional ticket sure beats paying rent. John usually stays around the Upper West Side. GPS linked to his website tells clients where to find him. And he's finding his loyal customers will follow him anywhere. It's only in New York. It is. It really is. But closing time gets a little complicated when you have to worry about street cleaning rules. So tonight, John folded up, shut down, and drove off, combing the neighborhood for a parking spot where he can open back up tomorrow.